foraging and improvising are essential parts of bushcraft prepper survival. So if you want to see some examples, stay tuned. Well, it might be the time for gathering flash tinder from thistles. However, it is a little bit late for blackberries. If you haven't got them now, you've got to wait a year. So make hay while the sun shines, or even collect berries while they're ripe. Rose hips are easy enough to find and identify. And although it takes a little bit of time to get rid of all the hairs from the inside of the fruit, it is worth doing as it can be used for medicinal purposes. It's times like this, just after heavy rainfall, when the streams are really flowing quickly, that you need to have some way of filtering out the dirt and sediment, either a Sawyer mini filter or a Millbank bag. It might behove you to go a little bit further and find a side stream that goes more over rock than over soil and where the water's cleaner. This will mean you have to do less filtering and less filtering means more effective water purification. If the season and weather conditions are right, mushrooms can be found in abundance. But remember, all mushrooms can be eaten but some of them only once. So before you consume a mushroom, get to know what it looks like, smells like, and feels like when you harvest it. These may be edible, but then again, they may not be. Don't take a chance, get an expert to teach you. The berries on sea buckthorn seem to last for a long time. They're a great source of vitamin C, but they are bitter, so really you need some sugar to go with them. Litter is to be found everywhere, and although it's a pain in the bum, it can be turned into a valuable resource. Tin cans can be turned into passable stoves, and candle holder and reflectors fairly easy with a minimum of tools. I'm going to make a candle lantern as one would in the field, with just a multi-tool. No drawing beforehand, just getting on with it in the field because we've got to. It would, of course, be better to use gloves to do this. But when needs must, needs must. Very simple. The two wings will help to keep the candle lantern facing away from the wind when it's hung from a tree. It's that quick to make. So now we have our candle lantern suspended, ready for use. A couple of minutes work, easy to do, especially in the field with limited tools. So as you go around, be on the lookout for resources. It's amazing what you'll find and where you'll find it. When in season, acorns can be gathered easily and quickly and processed into coffee or more importantly, food. If you want to find out more about processing acorns, check out these two videos from Mike Reed Outdoors. His knowledge of plants and their uses is extensive, and this guy knows what he's talking about. Wild camping is great, 
and most people don't mind it, providing the wild campers leave no trace. As I wander around, I come across the remains of wild campsites, and although disgusting and untidy, they do provide a good source of materials for the prepper survivalist. Here is an old fire set with an abandoned but good quality aluminium pan. In the field, one has to make use of what one has or what one finds. Firstly, there was only sand from the river and leaves. A few minutes work got rid of some of the dirt. However, it was much more effective to use grass and sand than it was to use leaves and sand. You can see the result of a quick five minute clean in the field and also the result of a ten minute clean at home. For the sake of a few minutes work I now have a good quality aluminium frying pan for free. Not everyone has their own wood or the right to use somebody else's but a freshly downed tree provides a good source of easily worked free wood. A great way to practice your bushcrafting skills. An old bicycle inner tube. It's got many uses. It's good for waterproofing things like lighter and it's good for kindling if not tinder. But it's here, it's available and it's ready to use. You can make your own cheap medical preparations from cheap alcohol and easy to gather plants such as yarrow as I am doing here. After a few months the liquid can be decanted and used as a great insect repellent. It might be the perfect weather for widow makers, but that shouldn't stop you getting out there to check out your environment. It's worth it. You know it makes sense. It will serve you well.